be making bases. What's up, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also give me a thumbs up on the video if you like the content. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. What we're going to be covering is how to make 808 shorter like you can do with the FL sampler knob, but in Logic Pro 10. All right. Now, I have this dope beat right here that I've been working on using stock plugins and everything like that. The 808 is kind of dragging too far into it. So let's just check this beat out. And if you, you kind of listen to the 808 does kind of sound mm, a little muddy, if you will. What we could do to fix that, though, is we can go over here and create a new track. Go to Quick Sampler. And then I'm just going to drag this 808 sample into Quick Sampler. Then from there, I'm just going to find one of the notes. All right. And then instead of pretty much leaving it as is, I'm going to take this guy right here and make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Take this guy right here. Actually, let me click off this. No loop on that. See this guy right here? This is like a fade tool. We'll just take this over here like this and move it like that, like so. And basically by fading this out, it's not gonna be, you know, the 808 is not gonna extend too far and it's not going to sound as muddy. You'll still have that initial punch, that initial 808 sound, but it's not going to, you know, be too crazy. And then what I could do is, since I already have this pattern, I can just make a copy of it. I can hold down Option and just drag this right over on top of here, mute this out, and I should have the same 808 pattern, but it's not going to sound as muddy. All right, cool. So we need to take it up some octaves. And you can play around with it. It's some, sometimes you need to take it out. It's like, I don't. And as you can see, it's kind of still giving me a little choppy vibe. I wanted it to play, like extend out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the notes and then I'm just going to right click on them and then do force legato. All right, cool. So now, now we're going to put that effect on it like this and then it should make it not so, make it not so uh, muddy. Cool. So basically now you can hear it's it, you still get that 808 sound, but it's, the 808s aren't running into each other and it makes this, the beat sound better. Let's check it out. Right. 
that's pretty much today's content. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.